Well, welcome everybody to, well, the next match already. We have basically unknown versus Hey Hey. And, well, basically unknown is pretty much just playing for their tournament live here. If they lose this one, it's fairly well, possible that they're actually going to be kicked out because then they have a 1 to 2 track record. And they will need this 2 for 1 track record if they want to stay here. And with me today, we have Slash Strike. Well, I believe you're the stand in now for my insanity for some time, right? Uh, yeah, I've been playing with him for a while. So I'm. Uh... Uh, against these teams. Hope I can be useful in the cast. Yeah, should be an interesting game. Um, I think basically known are the favorites to win this, but we should definitely not count uh, Hehe United out. No, I think they can definitely pull an upset. Yeah, yeah. There, I talk, I actually talked to quite one of or two of the uh, United players before, and they were saying that they have practiced out some strats and that they are going crazy. With crazy stress all over the place. They say it can either will be a 10 minute stomp or we might actually lose after 10 minutes. Might be uh -huh, a little that's bit... interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it might be a little bit over exaggerated, but we'll see if it actually is like that. Because I do know Hey Hey likes to run their Spirit Breaker Darks here. And you know that. Yeah, I've seen it a lot from them as well, yeah. And uh, basically, you they kind of have a little more standard picks most of the time. They they really like the meta, 683 at least. They picked up a lot of Troll and Juggernaut, Shadow Fiend, Lina. All the more standard picks, yeah. Like they're actually doing there right now. Shadow Demon has <laughs> a bit of an uprise, at least. A Dota. I want to say I'm not completely sure about A2. I don't think he's a big pick. Uh, no, not really. Teams have overlooked him, even though he did not really get nerfed uh, in particular. I think it's more of a trend thing. Uh, the hero is still very, very strong. I mean, disruption is one of the best defensive spells in the game, so uh, it's not a big surprise to see him. But I think they should at least pair it off with. Uh, yeah, there you go, Mirana. There's a Mirana, yeah. yeah. Like Gives a, him the. <laughs> yeah, you need something to combo it over because just a, a solo Shadow Demon is, isn't what you need. Then you need to pick it first and. Yeah, with a specific reason and versus Dark Spear, Spear Break, I don't want to say that it's not the pick you want to make. Yep, a little bit surprising to see that uh, he, he did actually not ban the Magnus in the first stage, uh, but basically no didn't pick him up either. Uh, I guess basically no, they kind of know how he play with this early aggression from tanky heroes like Spear Breaker and Dark Seer, and Magnus is not uh, that great against those. He prefers the you know, squish your targets, then you can kill during the RP. But yeah. a hero like Spirit Breaker is not really gonna care about being stunned just for a bit. Oh, and even if you use your RP, let's say, on the Spirit Breaker that's rushing at you, that's not what you want, actually. You don't want to use it just for a Spirit Breaker or Dark Seer. Yep, exactly. And, yeah, they will be running this as a dual offlane, for sure. That's just how they do it. It's just hey hey in, in one worth. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, the Shadow Fiend doesn't have the easiest time. Uh, obviously, very fragile early on. And uh, those heroes can definitely make his game hard. Yeah, that's actually what I want to ask you because you play a lot of Shadow Fiend. Like, if you have a Spirit Breaker constantly running at you with an Iron Orb on you, you're not going to have a good time. And if they no, have offensive sure wards in your jungle, how the hell are you ever supposed to catch up again if they can just keep on ganking you in the jungle as well, if they get a little bit of an early lead? Yeah, the, the jungle over here is going to be very crucial. Um, and basically, you're just going to have to rely on the supports in the early game. Uh, and those supports are very good. The, the Shadow Demon, of course, can disrupt the Spear Breaker to cancel his charge. Mirana could arrow from afar because you know where the charge is going to be. Um, Still, that does require a little bit of a setup. Uh, if you don't see the charge on time, the arrow will be too late. Yeah, you, you might kill the Spirit Breaker, but Sheriff may still end up going down, and that's definitely not what you want. It's not a trade gene. Yeah, exactly. They actually pick up a Nyx Assassin as well, so they're actually already going full on on the ganking. Which is yeah, awesome. Nyx is, is a, yeah, one of the few heroes that actually is good against the Shadow Demon Runner, because you can uh, pop your Carapace and then uh, tank the arrow essentially to save your teammates. Yeah, do you think it's going to be middle? Nyx Assassin, that would be odd. Or just a um, bit more basic support. Yeah, no, I think it will be a support, to be honest. Mid Nyx Assassin definitely can work against some intelligence heroes, but first the Shadow Fiend is just gonna get uh, crushed completely. 
And they're, he's gonna rely too much on ganking Yesef. I don't think that's what they want to do. No, I don't think so either. Yeah, I was actually looking like maybe Zeus or something, but of course it's already banned. Slada. Yeah, and Slardar, that's interesting, yeah. That's actually well, looks like, that's a yeah. good pick, I think. Because they, this, this is a lot more for the current meta, I want to say they already have. Because the last, um, yeah, the last match I had with basically, I you know, they were really late game oriented and just got completely crushed because they, they pick up a Medusa in this, I want to say, push and fighting oriented meta already. So this is already way better strat, I want to say, than before. Yeah, this is much better. The, the Shadow Fiend is more than enough to have as your main late game, you know, damage dealer. Uh, Especially and with, with the Slardar next to it. it yeah, and, and a lot. The Slardar is just, of course they have the minus armor combo, but Slardar is just a carry that can come online very early. He basically only needs a blink dagger and power shots. And hey, hey okay, they, they were right uh, about their weird drafts, man. Four, me them. four melee already, like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, but this is hey United. Yeah, I can... I Actually, can Abaddon is quite good here. He kind of makes the Mirana useless, and he's also, of course, very good against the Amplified Damage. I mean, removing the Amplified Damage, that's a really big deal and hurts the Slaughter a lot, because the hero is really based around having that minus armor. Hey United is... I do like their picks, but I'm wondering if it will work out or not. <laughs> and then Ningma is gonna be... Blessed. Okay, so they're answering back actually with a, a shitload of team fight as well. Basically, they're not yeah. ex as team fight, and they have a lot of ganking potential as well and early roaming. It's gonna be quite difficult for the Enigma though to get black holes off on the early game. I think uh, even just with the Nyx already, like as soon as he uses Carapace, you can't black hole him because the damage is gonna trigger the Carapace immediately. Tinker and Tinker the last pickup. Okay, well, I get it with the global strat, <laughs> like, you can go gank anywhere over the map, but the problem is he will need a creep, and none of these have anything, like, summons. So. Yeah, although in the new patch, uh, we shouldn't forget that there is the upgraded boots of travel, which allow you oh, to yeah. TP on, directly on a hero. But that's another, uh, what is it, 2k that you have to invest. Another 2000 gold, yeah, that's yeah. definitely not something you can afford to buy early on. That would just hurt your damage output way too much. Yeah. I think we'll see the Tinker go for the Bloodstone build this game. I don't think they, the Dagon is going to be great because they have uh, basically only they have fairly tanky heroes or, or defensive heroes. I'm sure we're going to see a mechanism on the Enigma. So I think the Bloodstone will fit their fighting playstyle a bit more. Sustained fights, it's not going to be about bursting people down. Oh, I don't think so either. This is really just a fighting for, for AA. It's just constantly ganking. If one, I think if even one person is out of position any time of this game, they're just gonna get run that every single time. You have to watch your positioning this match or that. Yeah, we have the Nyx scouting invisible. The bar could be charging you. Thinker can always TP in. Darks here, of course, with the surge. And you have an abandon uh, just lagging around. <laughs> I yep. think abandon will be put in the true fifth position. I think so it, look, hmm? it looks like uh, if, if it is the Darkseer Spirit Breaker offlane, then it looks like they're gonna farm the Nyx to get him a very early blink tagger and have uh, him as their main initiator. Yeah, they might, yeah, I would think. Well, to get it maybe with Nyx, depending on what he can get on. I assume he's gonna be the safe lane. His HWA yeah. always goes middle. Yeah, the Tinker will be mid for sure. Tinker is actually one of the better heroes against Shadow Fiend. Um, just having that laser really mitigates a lot of uh, how well he's able to last hit despite his necromastery damage. Makes it, yeah. Also, the laser, if you can get a couple of spams going with that, that's gonna be nice. Shadow Fiend. Wouldn't like that. Yeah, and it's just a mid that can. He doesn't have any disables on his own, but uh, let's say the Spear Breaker comes charging in, he can offer a lot of damage to. Actually, get that kill on the Shadow Fiend. Let's say if they then also can TP in, let's say Nihi is on the Darks here. He just TPs in search, runs up to him, pulls him back with uh, with Vacuum already, and then I think Shadow Fiend should be already dead, even before Nihis gets there. I th yeah, Shadow Fiend is not yeah. going to have an easy time at all. Because but of course, we also, we're also going to have teleports coming from the side of Unknown. The yeah. Shadow Demon can uh, disrupt them, Arrow can come in offensively. Uh, so yeah, it will be a lot of action in the mid lane. 
Six as well. Well, maybe top as well, because they can't just leave Nico there alone. He's gonna get crushed by Darkseer plus uh, Spirit Breaker. Yeah, that's for sure. Uh, Slardar is a strong mid-game carry, but in the laning stage he does not offer that much at all. Uh, he has a good 5 armor, but even then he's still a fairly slow melee hero, so... It's also a lot of magic damage. Yeah, yes, yeah. Darkseer and Spirit Breaker are just two of the best uh, level 1 heroes in the game, just from tankiness, stats, and strong level 1 spells. I think so as well. But yeah, okay, so the lane's for Hey Hey because they're obviously the one weird lineup. <laughs> so it's gonna be Spirit Breaker plus Darkseer on top. Then Nyx plus Abaddon on bot. But what can those two heroes do together? Like, they have like a stun yeah. in Nyx and they have a shield in Abaddon. Then shield run at them, I guess? Yeah, and Enigma is actually quite a good offlaner against such relatively weak lanes because uh, they can't simply run into the Eidolons to kill them, uh, and Enigma's ranged after all, so he should have a very good time on the bottom lane. But I think his main plan is really to just uh, make sure uh, the Nyx gets that early farm and gets his blink dagger up, uh, because a Nyx with blink is uh, a much much bigger threat than one without, because if he has no blink, you, you just have sentries up and you can see him coming. But the blink impel, if if the Nyx uh, gets some good impels off, you know, they're not called Ravages for no reason. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's actually a good game. Yeah, for laning wise, I think Enigma will be fine, but you will need to get that BKB, especially if Nyx can get a, a blink. Yeah, he's gonna need that BKB very, very early if he wants yeah. to get any black holes off. Yeah. I, pers I do like to get, <laughs> uh, personally, I do like to get the, the blink first, and then the BKB. But you might just see it the other way around. Yeah, in this game, I don't think he can afford to do that. Although, I think we're also gonna see him farming the mech first. Yeah, uh, first. yeah the, the mech is definitely something they'll need against early rushing. Okay. Other trash talking on each other a little bit. Oh, uh, do know, I believe Dumpster Player is a rise, but for some weird reason, he is playing under. Uh, shit, and what is it? Under Dumpster Player, his name. I don't know Dumpster why. Player. Yes. And he's talking shit about Dumpster Internet and Arab. Yeah, I believe that's his uh, favorite adjective. He likes to use that. Uh, uh, oh shit, I'm of course the admin. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're gonna be remaking it. Uh, okay, yeah, it looks like it. We go and re oh, okay, then we go. So awesome! It's almost oh, like I'm having a smooth day. <laughs> that's competitive dota for you. <laughs> oh man! So, okay, we have them. Everybody's already joining in. Same password, by the way. Yep. Same you type. Oh, <laughs> it's an all pick again. Oh no, no, it, it should be an all pick now. Fuck! <laughs> I'm so terrible with this. <laughs> it's like the whole tournament stuff is pretty much just not here, it's just me. <laughs> they let you do all the stuff, yeah. Yeah, it's... yeah, I guess I could put up a music while we wait and we just talk this. Yeah, okay, we can talk about uh, predictions for how the game is gonna go. I think if. Yeah. The most obvious one, if Hey Hey can't win before 25 minutes, they probably lost. Yeah, I think that's uh, fair to say. Although the, the Tinker could be a wild card in that regard. Uh, late game Tinker, obviously, not something to uh, to be underestimated. Yeah, it seems. Yeah. What can he do? Because there eventually there are going to be a lot of PKBs on the end. They will wing down, but. Yeah, I mean, it, that's uh, Tinker's power, and a lot of uh, heroes apply a lot of magical damage like that. They have this kind of power curve, which uh, goes down once the 10 second BKBs come out. Uh, but eventually, as they start being used more and more, and their duration drops down to 5 seconds, uh, he becomes very, very strong again. Because in the late game, Tinker, of course, is very mobile, and having a 5 second BKB is really not enough to save you from all his, uh, all his magical nukes and his items. Eventually, uh, I was a little bit distracted because I was also typing, but 
essentially said. The power mm -hmm. curve is there, and eventually, once the BKB wing all down, magic uh, reliant heroes such as Stinkers are able to get back in there and be incredible threat. Yep, exactly. And I think uh, in this game, if you look at uh, his lineup, Stinker will kind of uh, be comparable to a sniper in the sense that he's gonna be staying very far back and of course unknown's main goal is to kill the tinker but then you have four melee tanky heroes that are just gonna be disrupting the fight and uh, doing their best to you know keep the tinker alive yeah that's true what do you think they will actually be putting a lot of pressure on middle i would assume at least from bu because if you can keep essentially keep the tinker down you win the game yeah, but uh, I mean the same could be said for unknown if they if they keep the shadow fiend down, that's really most of their damage. Uh, like Mirana so Shadow Demon, they the have. The problem is with shadow fiend. I think shadow fiend is a little bit easier to come back than with a. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, both shadow fiend and tinker farm fast. They can farm stacks, but uh, I would definitely favor shadow fiend as. I mean, not even more than tinker. I, I think he's the fastest farmer in the game, uh, just tinker. with those raises. That's a lot of damage, just one race. What is it, 320 out of my head? Yeah, it, it got buffed uh, to 325. <laughs> that was so close. <laughs> uh, I never played Shadow myself because I'm a terrible mid player, so I'm not completely sure about those things. Mm -hmm. It actually it used to be 300, and then when it got buffed to 325, just that little amount, 25 damage, and suddenly he started being picked every game. Uh, of course, when you have three of the raises, then 25 damage does, does matter a lot. If you have three raises, it's 75 minus armor reduction. But five damage, I want extra. If you can uh, yeah, but I mean, to be honest, the raises it's, it's mostly about the creeps. Uh, yeah, that's it's about how fast they allow you to farm. Yeah, it's a bit. You are expecting a little bit too much if you can hit all your all your raises on the on an enemy hero. It's, yeah, it's, but I mean, even something as simple as. Like, uh, level 4 raise now kills the range creep until much later into the game. Uh, like, one shots it. And before, you would have to raise and then hit it once. And something like that really can actually. Like, it's only a 2 second difference when you're farming the wave, but uh, it adds up for sure. Also, with when you're in the middle and you want to go for a little rune control, having those raises, just push out the lane, get the rune, go back. That's also one of the most easy examples we've yeah. shown with going for the creeps. Yeah, I'm just gonna go introduce the teams real fast. I don't know if we'll ever start like this because now they're having Skype issues. <laughs> <laughs> so for Hey Hey, we have the Coon on Spirit Breaker, we have Nihis on Dark Sea, we have Be the Machine as a new stand in on the Abaddon, we have Quepe on the Nyx Assassin, and we have HWA on his signature hero, Tinker. You wanna do basically unknown? Sure. Uh, we're gonna have Nico Baby. Uh, playing the carry on Slardar. We're gonna have Pure Evil on the Shadow Demon. Uh, Steelman or Stomanen on the Mirana. Steelman? Is that it? Uh, yeah, Stomanen, it means Steelman, basically. Uh, okay, yeah, sorry. <laughs> We're gonna have uh, Arise, also known as Dumpster Player, on the Shadow Fiend. And last but not least, Mind Control on the Enigma. That's the whole basically, no, it's Domano. I can't pronounce that name at all, so that's like terrible. I had it in the previous guest as well, I just can't do it. Yeah, I mean, he basically is the the Latin letters uh, as Cyrillic letters. This makes it even worse. First time I saw it, I was like, oh. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is his official Like He used to be called Insolent. Uh, I don't know if he changed it for good or just having fun. Who knows? <laughs> Essentially, it doesn't matter as long as you just play. Just about your own brand image, maybe a little. Yep. And we're gonna have a very poor Mirana with nothing but three clarities. <laughs> and Get so a mango! Shadow Demon. <laughs> Shadow Demon to pick up the early boots, of course, to set up with that disruption. Quite crucial. And uh, might have a little bit of a fight at the top room. We might Let's have. See. As the fighting area <laughs> has been drawn out. <laughs> I believe this was a rise with the whole circle around the map. We're gonna be fighting here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's ready to fight. And you can look at the rise starting animal actually. Um, two branches in a circlet, so he's gonna be going to the magic wand fairly soon. That's a great item if you're gonna be fighting a lot with many heroes, casting spells, of course. 
Yeah. And it just gives him that little bit of extra tankiness. So it's not that easy to kill him in the laning stage. Good pick up versus the Tinker. Ooh, this he <laughs> Oh, the charge is there already with Ayano going for pure evil. There's gonna be Oh, too many kill. Oh man, that's a great appeal. Will they actually be able to get a kill off? Oh, that arrow is just way off the mark. Arrow whiffs, but now Slaughter's in trouble. Yeah, he's, he's getting... Slowly he's going down. Nice is also keeping a rise out of bay. And uh, Nico, maybe there's going to be another uh, charge onto him. This is going to be the end actually of him. going down. Well, first there, there was a drawn out fight. <laughs> oh, a little bit of a mistake there, I would say. I mean, he went in to save his support uh, and then ended up dying as the carry. Of course, you'd rather have your support die if someone has to die. I think if the arrow hits, it might have you know, stopped them from pursuing it. Yeah, and it, it would have hit if uh, he hadn't stunned them. Yeah. So, it turns out we were wrong, it was actually going to be a safe lane Tinker and a Nyx on the mid lane. Okay. Nyx is going to have a shit time here. He does have a Mango. I just like the Mango. Yeah, the Mango is definitely like one extra spell. Yeah. Can allow him to get a kill. And with his base regen, it just ups it even more. Yep. Might be. Uh, the Nyx did get the, the first blood, so it should help him out a little bit in the mid lane. He should have his... yeah, his bottle is already... he's already body growing. And Ni Nico, he's not gonna have fun versus <laughs> all these orbs, man. He's just gonna have a shit day. He should be able to get the last hit yeah. though, but... And that's the thing, uh, when you pick up a Shadow Demon Rana, you really want to be able to roam around, you know, gank the mid lane, gank the bottom lane, but... If there's a Spirit Breaker Darks here, you, you can't leave your Sorrow alone, or he's not gonna get anything. First second they have, they will charge him. <laughs> oh, the Foon is getting stunned. This is just... But he's so tanky. Yeah. 29 strength at level 1, it's ridiculous. You can't kill him. No <laughs> way. Another orb on him as well. Like, they, they can't fight versus this. If they come close, it will just burn down. There's nothing that unknown can do here. They must hope that they maybe make a misplay or something. How realistic mm. is that? No, I mean, their plan is to just... Uh, the other lanes are going okay for them, somewhat... Uh, you can see... Uh, Nico Baby is not getting a lot of CS, obviously, but... Uh, Mind Control is doing a decent job of pressuring Tinker as well. Uh, he, Tinker, of course, is getting a bit more, but it's still not like he's free from me. The Tinker, of course, has somebody behind him. It makes the job a little bit easier. Just the spam of the machines will make it a little bit hard for my people to do anything. Uh, Nico Baby has no more uh, consumables, already all gone. Actually, they have, apart from two clarities, they don't have anything, I believe. Yeah, okay, another one. Okay, mm -hmm. they have three clarities for this entire lane. Oh, it looks like they wanna. I wanna go soon, but. <laughs> dying shells. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a good idea. The moment you do that, you just die. I don't think that they don't have the damage output to kill them. And that's the thing with Sardar, his uh, sustain is a bit of like his weakness because you don't pick up uh, a lifesteal like you do on other heroes, on other safe and carries. Uh, and you don't go really for any early region items. So maybe he goes for the Vanguard here just so we can stay alive. He might, he might just need it for a lane because I don't think an early blink will be, uh, will be there. Yeah, no. oh, okay. Yeah, They're gonna try it. And the arrow, it does hit the Goon. The Goon is he's actually gonna die yeah, from this, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they just need a level 2 with Soul Catcher and the Shadow Demon, and then they do have enough damage. Once they're out of the, the creeps. Oh, he yeah. is. Eco Baby is gonna go on him, but <laughs> the orb is there already. <laughs> oh, going Surge? Here? He's gonna look for him. Oh, oh but he has another stun. The arrow, oh. the arrow misses, actually. But there's gonna be the charge, though, on the. Oh, oh nice no, disruption. <laughs> Oh, that's a good Nice one. disruption, and they might actually... Yeah, that is gonna get oh, they can't kill the Spirit Breaker here, but... Oh, the, the Slain is... I know, they just completely got bad. <laughs> that was a little bit aggressive for me, as it was. Yeah. Although, CS-wise, I mean, the Darks here is still leading the starter, and now he has to go all the way back to base. So, it, it is a small victory, but... Overall, they're still not really getting the, the pre-farm on starter they would like. Oh, and... When Slaughter is gone, the Goon can just catch up and he also is going to get some CS. With him also being in support, it's fine for him. Mm -hmm. Because the Darkseer is back already and... Uh, even Stoneman with being level 3, yes, right. Yep. 
And if you look at mid lane, as expected, we see Arise pulling out far ahead of uh, the Nyx. Uh, CSY is actually only leading by about 9, okay, 10 now. Uh, but what's important to note is he has 11 denies, of course, and Sharfin denies a lot. And he's a full level ahead of the Nyx, even though uh, Cube actually did get the, the first blood. Yeah. This could be exp it's, it's a Shadow Fiend. Yeah, Shadow Fiend against melee, it's, you're just gonna crush that lane every time. Well, you should crush that lane. Yeah, better way. Uh, you never know. We're interested to see what uh, Arise goes for here. Uh, I don't think we'll see the Yules because, especially now with the nerf mana cost, uh, plus there's a Nyx in the enemy team, you don't want to be increasing your intelligence too much. Uh, so it could just be the BKB rush makes him tanky, allows him to fight. Yeah, and they're evil. Oh, he, I think he should have seen this one. The arrow is gonna hit Quepe, but he's still able to get on the spike airbus. But look at his and, damage coming. Oh, that was a that they was a huge it. misplay. He just turned it around. What? Why, why did they go on Quepe? I don't even get that. Like he was doing I fine there on the lane. Go pressure HWA or something. Yeah, M maybe maybe they thought. If the arrow is uh, on top of the disruption, that he will not be able to use Spike Carapace, but he will be able to. I mean, that's why they pick Nyx, because you can do that. That's, that's just a misplay, and that will actually be a little bit tough for a Ryze now. Or tough, yeah. in, in, it just takes away his farming time. Yeah, I mean, more of a loss to die at Shadowfin, because he could be farming a lot more. Top, they're going behind the tower, Nika baby is already really low! Oh, Quepe oh, is there! Assassin. Yeah, oh, he is. <laughs> he's whipping he on the stone! Bill. What? That was Nick really should bad. Still go down. You should still oh. go down, but I think they are able to. Yeah, they will get the Kun there in the back. And yeah, this is also enough to get him. It's going to be a one for one trade. I yeah. say worth it for Hei. Hey. Still good for Hei, but it could have gone a bit better. Yeah. Than this team All well, they might actually get another one. Oh, disrupt. Arrow into disrupt. Okay, this is a new combo here. There's going to be a wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't matter. And they yeah. might actually go more, but now Rise comes with the raises. First race does hit before the spike airplay, so he doesn't have a spike airplay, he does have from that time. They're gonna let... What's uh, Nia's going to... Jesus, stop. Like, yeah, quite yeah, He should be going down here. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But, they, they forced the Rise to rotate and... and get some Darfin doesn't really want to be leaving his lane at 7 minutes in. Oh, Arrow and HBI is gonna miss. Light Control is still walking, he wants to black hole this! <laughs> oh no, he walks back now. I thought he was just, just gonna black hole him and like, let's see what happens. I mean, they should have done black hole into Aaron, that would have been a sure kill. Although, nah, for sure, the Ablon is still standing behind him, so... It was actually very difficult for him to kill. They need to wait for the Ablon to show up, and then black hole both of them, and then focus on the Tinker. Yeah, but if uh, Be The Machine plays a little bit sensible, he, do he doesn't uh, show himself, so... Yeah, it's it's a very, very difficult kill to get. They need to commit a lot more. This is actually standing really defensive here, <laughs> versus just Nikos. Nico, I don't think he knows that there's nobody else. This is, yeah. I mean, Why he's actually it? doing quite well. I mean, he almost has. He only needs the recipe for his uh, mech. Um, yeah, he's he's farming just with Ainsho. He doesn't really need to uh, get any kills. All he wants is just to pressure Nico and prevent him from farming too much. And that's actually what, exactly what he has been able to do so far. Yeah, I actually see a bottle picked up on the star door. Uh, it's an interesting solution to that uh, problem we were mentioning of not having sustain early on. Yeah, but I'm not sure. They're already out of the lane, so it's. Yeah. Oh, he tries to turn this on these, but yeah, he's already straight away. It's too high on shells, man. That's something you can't fight on. And the early buckler gives five armor and plus an extra two from the active. Uh, Deal with uh, amplified damage. That's four in a row. Oh, they actually get uh, mind control, but I uh, with them seeing that. Yeah, I missed that as well. That was, uh, looks like a vendetta rotation, but it is. Oh, they're and going on Nias now. They're tipping, actually, they're tipping in some support right now. Yeah. There's going to be the imp build. Nias is actually hits. so far still alive. They're going to try and turn this one around. Oh, he is going to die baby. for us. Nico's still gets reflected. And there's still. Oh! That's <laughs> two kills. Wow. Oh man, a long range nether strike. Yeah, that was quite quite range. He he played it quite nicely. He knew the Shadow Demon was dead anyway, so he just went straight away for the Nether Strike onto Nico Baby. Yeah, that's, this is a worthwhile trade still again for hey, hey one one for two and one of them is the Slardo, which is the hero that needs snowballing, otherwise you have a problem in the mid game. Yep. 
And if you if you look at the, the score looks somewhat even, Anon have managed to pick up five kills, but those five kills are only on Spearbreaker and Dark Seer. And those two heroes they don't really care that much about dying. Uh, oh Tinker's gonna yeah. be active now. Got his uh BOTs. Yeah. Tinker has been untouched, he even uh, assisted in a kill. And Nyx is actually only 200 gold away from his Blink Dagger. He's gonna have a good time. Blink Dagger is, yeah, sometimes I want to say like Dagon is, is a good pickup as well, maybe. This game Blink. No, no, actually goes for Venom, it's okay. He yeah. saved up a lot of money before buying them. But with the Blink here, you can just blink into the black hole with the. Which is oh, he's hasted. Gonna find him around. I don't, I don't think he can go. Oh. No, he just hits much. Yeah, I want to say he can't go for that. It's, it's a bit too dangerous. Even that it was about to expire anyway, so you might as well get the damage off. You can just pressure a rise now with three heroes. Yeah, now the Tinker just starts laying down the marches. It's so difficult to fight into the march. Yeah, they were actually waiting for this one, this to happen, but... Are they able to get Kuhn on the way back? No, they're oh, not. The shield and the heal, they managed to keep him alive. Oh, but now... Nyx has it on the back, gets arrowed. Might actually end up going down. He will go down, oh, with yeah, the heal. Missed also. Bit of an overcommitment there, but he... But now five heroes are in the middle, basically, you know. The Tinker is yeah. farming, but... Kuhn went top. He has just went into the jungle, taking the snap. The advantage of having a Tinker in games like these, so uh, you force out these early fights, but then the team with Tinker is just a lot more mobile. Tinker can immediately be beaten on the lane and push it out towards the defender tower. Mobile, dude. I'm actually wondering when he will pick up the upgraded boot DOTs. Because it is something you want to get. Oh, actually yeah, go maybe as a third item or so after two big items. I'm gonna see an old take from early Roshan. Yeah, what you would actually expect him to do with their. Yeah, with Slaughter, of course. Slaughter, Shadow Fiend, even the Enigma there, that's just an early Roshan you need mm. to take. I mean, they rotate a lot of heroes mid, so since they're all there, might as well go for the Rosh. And there was actually no. <laughs> there was no context, I don't even know they knew it. There was, Middle tower. Everyone, go. I, think they were, I think they thought they were just ganking maybe in the. Yeah. You would at least try to contest it a little. Yeah, I mean, they, they could definitely, they, there was no black hole, so if they knew they could have tried. HWA is found, he's gonna get arrowed as well, all the purges are there. Nico Baby walks in and HWA is gonna die right now. Yeah, and the um, machine went in, yeah. Be the machine is gonna be Slaughter, yes, look out. Nico Baby, yeah. Low health. Buyback from Tinker. You wanna fight this? This is gonna be the. Uh, the ultimate from Mirana though. Oh, Arise winding up the ultimate. But no, you're, <laughs> you're still there. Grapple gets hit by the arrow, he will be stunned for a really long time. But yeah, Arise is still there. He's always trying to TP out. Where's the stun? Oh, there's no stuns. Okay, Impel was on cooldown. That's good. Yeah, okay, at uh, least easy way I had to buy back there. I want to say still okay, but basically. Not. I'm really surprised we didn't see any teleports coming in from Darks here or another Spear Breaker. But yeah, I'm actually wondering why didn't the king just... He went for Glimmer Cape? I can huh? get it versus the race, but... <laughs> yeah. Something. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. I'm not so old either. I mean... It's good against magical damage, but... I'm uh, or I would say, more physical than magical. Sure, you have pretty much the races and the arrow, that's really the, the only magical damage you have. I think he thought he could uh, what is it, activate it while running. Oh, black hole yeah, for mind oh, control, but he's still gonna die for this. HWA. Oh, the oh, mech touch. and dodges the arrow. Oh, that no. was a very rare escape. Oh, oh he might actually still end up going down. Yeah, he's gonna. Pick up, baby. Nice rotation there. But the Coon goes after him. Yeah, he's gonna hit him. So man is, is close by for your evil as well. It is rough, but they won't follow it up. Arrow is still cool on. Oh, it's a pretty big deal though. HWA, he bought back and now dies again. Okay, he's trying to get the kill there, Oh, <laughs> the arrow! Oh, the the arrow. <laughs> oh man, that sucks. Although the arrow wasn't meant for him, it was a good arrow. <laughs> and Arise yep. is getting the top tier one, or at least he's trying to get it. So far, there are no rotations coming. Oh no, Kuni, he is going in right now. There's a TP on Shadow Oh, he yeah, TP or he's dead. Yeah, yeah. he's dead. Yeah, they're gonna TP in here as well. Yeah, he's trying to TP out, but yeah, net a strike, yeah. 
It was too obvious. I almost pushed him off the cliff. Uh, I think... Okay, maybe... Yeah, he thought you can use Glimmer Cape during the charge, but even then, the one thing it is nice for is uh, if he's fighting up against the Shadow Fiend one on one, he, he like that situation. It. He can yeah. use it during the, the charge, but he needs to use it before he runs. Uh huh. But and yeah, basically, if then you are normally if he doesn't have it, Shadow Fiend could just break him in point blank, uh, which obviously would be a lot of damage from main range. But now with the Glimmer Cape, he can kind of just tank it up. He's just popping it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, God. I mean, it, it has no mana cost, so oh, that's yeah. a that's a good part about it. Fine. Oh, there's gonna be another, another Mirana ultimate going, but they're not gonna find anybody with this. But yeah, HWA going down twice in the span of about five minutes, uh, even buying back. He's gonna be definitely really hurting him. He wants to get back now. He needs to. Let's see the net worth actually at the top is the dark share. Yeah, and. I want to point out, Nico maybe managed to pick up a Midas and he's already sitting at 1.6k gold. So I would say that's a fantastic recovery from the really rough lane he had. He's coming back. He's still, he still... He can't really initiate just yet, but he's really close to it. Yeah, CS-wise he's not looking that great, uh, but he did rotate and despite dying he was also part of a couple of big kills. Which uh, was what allowed him to get the money for that Midas. And now with Midas, I think he... Yeah, he's looking good. He's gonna be getting his blink and his carry items. They're gonna be coming up soon. Then they can start doing something. Although I do wonder how about how squishy he is. Although he has 1100 HP and a lot of armor, there's a, still a lot of magical damage as well. Hey, oh, they find the rise, and he's still gonna charge on him. So he, he, I think he will still die eventually if the Goon does from bullet wound. This Crepe is gonna die first, but. Yeah, Goon, he, he yeah. wants to get the kill, this is worth yeah, it. Yeah, he doesn't care, he just goes in. There you go, he goes All in. Right, he down, but this is gonna be another kill for yeah. Nico, maybe. Yeah, he will. But still, just keeping a rise down is fine. It's okay, it was a one for one, but... Yeah, two... Two heroes dying for just for sure. Yeah, at that point, it's, it was too costly for me. Yeah, uh, Avalon does manage to pick up the mid tower in the meantime, so... It is... It is not as terrible. I'm... I, oh! Guardian Graves. I need But he's gonna be found now. Oh no, there's amplified damage. He is using it. He can actually dispel the amplified damage with the Guardian Graves. There's gonna be the arrow as well. Yeah. I hear HWA coming back gonna in the way. He's gonna kill them. Nico Baby just dies. Yeah. Hey, we're talking about how squishy the starter is. Yeah. We won't find him around him, but that doesn't matter too much. You get Nico, fine. Yeah. Minus Blink Dagger definitely <laughs> gives you absolutely no survivability. Nico maybe a little bit uh, over Zealous there. It is, uh, the Guardian Greaves are a new item, so I can't fault him for right. you know, not realizing that they will dispel the Amplified damage. Because they were counting on that damage coming in. The Guardian Graves, that's... Uh, uh, Guardian Graves only dispels yourself. Yeah, only for yourself. I will be a little bit too strong if it was in AoE. That would be cool though. <laughs> Then and you can see my control picked up Nick and he has his own arcane boots, so perhaps he's gonna be going for the Guardian Greaves as well. Yeah, but I don't think this will be his next item. Yeah, I, I, there's not that much to dispel on uh, from his team anyway, so... And it's not like he's really that low on mana at any time, so he doesn't need it to be able to pop the mecha. Yeah, I mean, the, the main reason is... Uh, uh, it combines uh, to one item slot, but uh, yeah, he has plenty of item slots to work with right now, so okay. probably the not going to upgrade him for a while. Yeah, he's gonna kiss. Oh. No, okay, yeah. <laughs> he disassembled it into Sherwood. Okay, that's, okay, that's, that's interesting. Good, that's good that he can do that because now he can. Yeah. Actually, if we can get it into uh, Silver's Edge, if I correctly pronounce that one, Silver Edge? Yeah, Silver Edge, yeah. Uh, that would be actually really strong versus on If he can get a rise with it later on, it's just gonna, what is it, minus 40 physical damage? Or was all damage outputs? I'm not completely sure. Yeah, all damage output, plus it disables passive, so it will disable the presence of the Dark Lord aura, which is a, a pretty big deal. Uh, if he can get that, I want to say give him some farm priority now. If he can get it. Yeah, I mean, he's, really gonna, he's gonna pick it up sooner or later. Uh, but yeah, now definitely the, the glimmer, the glimmer cape makes sense. Uh, I did not know you could actually disassemble it. Me neither. Just crops. <laughs> oh, no, oh the, the purge almost went off. Oh, uh, well, actually, no, the why, why? Comes 
What was that? He was still standing there. He's gonna die yeah. for this. Oh, he's baiting. No, nope. he's baiting. Fight. Oh no, Moonlight used the oh, goon. He doesn't care. Right. He keeps on going because he's also in this. What's up with all this if it's Oh no, Nico, he comes in. Initiation he sends two. Baby. He hits. Oh, he gets hurt. Oh, Quepe is oh, still nice fighting there. Go. Pure evil. They're all in this again, but they're gonna wear up right now. It's a oh, black hole on three! A bet the machine. Oh, he almost walked into it. Bridge is sitting on the edge. Where's the follow up? There's no follow up. No, they, had, they were all being zoned out by the coon and beat the machine. He doesn't care about this. He will, he will be just fine. And Nico, baby. Yeah, he's looking for something, but what can they find here? The coon is gonna go into the tower. He's gonna do this. That was okay. I wanted to say it was a good fight for he, but the coon dying there at the end, uh, that actually was was not, not worth it all. I mean, we're chasing down the Mirana, but Mirana is not, not really a valuable kill. It's support Mirana. If you can get Nico or something with it, then die, I'll yeah. okay, or maybe a Ryze. Yeah. Well, I guess that's the coon. The fight, the fight lasted a little bit too long for the fight recap. Yeah, I had to say uh, but, <laughs> but I do think Anon uh, came out on top there. Yeah, just look at the graphs, you see a small dip. Not big though. Yeah. Again, there's not... They can't really transition. Either of them can't really transition into anything after this. They have too much creep clear on both sides. For them to really be pushing in anyway. Yeah, although I would definitely say... Uh, he have the better map control right now. Yeah, they do. I mean, just the Tinker is able to push out all the lanes constantly. Yeah, they're going for my control, by the way, with the uh, cards. But I think you're gonna spot this. So, man. <laughs> he's gonna get hit by it. I think they know it is now. Mike, though, he starts walking. They're gonna also TP in. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're gonna the back off. That was a bit too obvious, but. It's nice that if you castle the charge, you still stay invisible for the Shadow Blade. But you're not guessing something, essentially. You're just putting a step, so. Yeah. I don't think it sure. should spell it anymore. Yeah, it shouldn't, shouldn't, but it's it's a nice feature you can disengage. And we're actually gonna see the Aghanim Scepter up on uh, the Nyx Assassin. That's uh, that's very interesting. Yeah, that was... He has Burrow now, right? Yeah. That was the thing. Yeah, he gets regeneration and... He has a longer impill, longer mana burn and all these kind of good old things. Yeah, I don't think it's... I mean, it would definitely be uh, great during the fight if you wanna... Uh, like, the 40% damage reduction is a pretty big deal. He can definitely tank a lot, especially when he's being healed and stuff by his team. But I think that the biggest thing about the Aghanims is, uh, if you look at Nyx right now, he has a decent HP pool, pretty large mana pool, but he has a very little mana region, so after a, a gank or a fight, he often has to go back to base, but now with the Burrow, he can just region up. He can just sit down and... oh? They initiate on an illusion. Yeah, I, I was also looking like, what? I hear a lot of spells, what are they doing? Hey, oh, there's gonna be I'm the cool. He it. goes on Stoneman. No, but he's just gonna and die to this one. This is too much, and there's gonna be pure evil dead as well. And the now you just down immediately. There's your two supports down, and now you need to run. Yeah, the and now Roshan spawns. Cause, but he, he don't really have damage for it. No, and they don't they really have. Well, apart from uh, the graves, they don't really have a lot of sustain. I was expecting to maybe be the machine uh, to pick up an early Vladimir. Yeah, that would have been a, a pretty nice fighting item. He picked up the Ogre Club on Avedon, so perhaps he's gonna be rushing the uh, Aghanims. Let's see if he can be an MJ. Well, you're not gonna get a lot of hits on Yeah, I don't see this being a core Abaddon transitioning anytime soon, so it will probably be the Aghanims. I would uh, which again fits the theme of their, yeah. of the theme of their team, like keeping the, each other alive. Yeah, just keep on, also keep on running at them. <laughs> <laughs> there's also, yeah. there's always been Hey Hey's thing, I wouldn't Because I've casted them, it's all just run. Yeah. So, HWA almost finished with Bloodstone, only needs the recipe now. Um, yeah. yeah, the Bloodstone, I definitely think it's the best choice here. It's just uh, the largest amount of mana you can get from a single item and sustaining the fights. This is the fighting a lot, he will likely be racking up the charges on that. And the one thing is though, it's already 24 minutes in now, and it doesn't... Not... He yeah, he still needs a little bit. It's definitely not uh, the best on timing you want, so you're safe lane thinker. Should have had it like, what is it, about 4 minutes or at least. That's, I want to yeah, say those, those two deaths, and the buyback especially, really, really sad for back. They don't need him for ganking, I, I think, because look at that, they just keep on going. Oh no, yeah, they, he's gonna get fouled. He'd be stopped, but they initiate anyway. 
Yeah, this is a big team fight. Oh no, Spirit Break is on the bot. He's gonna be left alone there. Pepe. But to still keep on going at him. He knows they can't see him there, so he just goes. Otherwise, he doesn't get the BKB off. He's gonna go down. Banking him into wall, hitting three black hole, going on knees with HWA. He's just doing damage to mind control it's over just there. Just and <laughs> they can't kill anybody. With the, else. with the burrow, he he doesn't care about anything. The burrow just forty percent damage reduction. He gets healed up. Like they couldn't even follow that black hole up again. Arise is dead. So where's your damage gonna come from? Pico yeah, Baby is was, being uh, sold out by HWA with a laser, like, he's gonna stun in and then what? Miss, miss, miss. So. The big problem there was, uh, Q managed to get off the, the Impale on Arise before he popped his BKB. And without BKB, the Shadow Fiend just melted. Yeah. What? Well, he didn't get off BKB, so it was it now 9, I wanna say? At least he still has a 9 second BKB, which is also yeah. very important. That's, that's like the, that's my, I, I personally I just don't like getting BKB first on any hero pretty much because I do understand that you need it sometimes for fighting but if it somehow gets to late game then you have a 5 second BKB. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I think on Shadow King is successful, I mean he's kind of forced to do that this game. Um, oh, they see HWA. BKB. Nico Baby goes in on him, but they just keep HWA alive. They let him walk back. Nico Baby has his yeah. uh, BKB on, but he's just still gonna get stunned by all of this. We're trying to get the Kuhn right now, but he's yeah, it's a lot of sustain. He will still fall down, but again, it's a five man rotation. Oh, no, four man. Arise is not here. And oh. they're it's still actually able to get mind control, dude. Stinker. And the Rise is just TP top, so they were fighting a lot in there. Yeah, that could have been maybe favorable for. Uh, Known if Arise was there. We have multiple BOTs actually. I was thinking they might go for an extra set on BOTs, maybe on uh, Quepe a little bit faster so he can join in with the global gankings a bit better. It's fine. Yeah, the Kuhn still hasn't upgraded his boots, so perhaps we'll see him going for the boots of travel. Yeah, like it looks like he's going for the BKB right now, or or the Silver's Edge, probably the Silver's Edge actually. Yeah, Silver's Edge, definitely. Slowly becoming a core item actually on multiple heroes. One, it one says already a core item on Slark now as well. What? He's going to yeah. this creep? Like that's not gonna work. <laughs> oh, Cube needs needs to get out of here. He's gonna. Yeah. That burrow was a little or bit obvious, maybe but look they at this! <laughs> oh, Nico, he's gonna go down now. <laughs> and again, does not get the BKB off at all. That, that, oh man, the burrow is used as a bait here. Holy. That's also yeah, a good the important thing to note is there's no casting animation. Like, normally you see the next uh, raising arms, you know the burrow is coming, but uh, the didn't go. Oh no, but if he's burrowed, he was too far forward. He goes in, he goes into the ground, but he will still miss his impale. Yeah. <laughs> it was cute. <laughs> Doesn't After matter. After death, they might just pressure high ground with this. Yeah, you might as well. Like, at least pressure it. You don't have to fully commit for it. Yeah, the side of basically known, I mean the the core is Nico Baby and Arise, they need to be uh, they need to use their BKBs earlier because now first it was Arise and now Nico Baby goes down before he managed to use BKB. It just really hurt him in these fights. Yeah, if they don't stay alive you can do anything. And I don't think they can actually defend this, not without the black hole or without uh, Nico being there. Yeah. I, I don't think there's no way he get the racks here. And they're actually not even gonna get the tower, but it's still good. They still get a lot of damage in. They will force them to pay attention to that lane even more with and HWA just has more space because yeah. of that. And because they have more map control they are out farming the side of unknown. You can see the top two in net worth are uh, Tinker and Darks are actually somewhat surprisingly. Who has managed to pick up an Aghanim Scepter really? Oh man. Uh with let's see, you do steal the presence of the Dark Lord Ara, I wanna say. Yeah, yeah I mean, what the Agnums does is it increases the damage yeah. of the illusions. But they actually deal more damage than the, yeah, the hero does. Yeah, but with the presence of the Dark Lord Aura then going for them, that's actually quite... Yeah, it is. That's, that's just crazy, because what is it? There's almost no armor on the Miranda, on pure evil. Yes, he yeah, he's a little, he's about 13, so mind control is also okay. It's really, the Miranda will be hurt from this in Sardar. Even this time he do know about the Roche, so you might see an engagement here. Oh no, disruption is there by control. He is looking for the black hole, but he's not gonna get it off. He's just gonna die instantly. Quetta is fighting up versus Nico Baby, but he can just walk this one off, even although 
There's a Mika Bay on Mika Bay. He can't really fight this. He's gonna lose this. You're evil. He is. He's trying to run away. They're gonna use Moonlight Shadow to get out now. But there's still the, uh, the Miss Cole. Oh no. Oh, the coon. He got Nico. Wow. Oh, and. He also could be Rana. Whoa. I'll point out if you look at the Rose Pit, there's a power chest on the floor. I think Arise misclicked. He wanted to yeah. drop an item for the ages, but he dropped his power treads. <laughs> oh my god, I don't think they noticed this. So. And that's just terrible. I mean, power treads, I mean, that's a big item. Is it his power treads? He does have another one. Uh, he, he just bought them. I clicked on him, he had no, he had no uh, power treads, and he just DP'd the base and bought new ones. Yeah, that's. That's 1.4k gold just down the drain right there. But they do have Black Hole. Oh, he actually went for Guardian Grave, so he's about no. Well, initiation here with Michael for which is Black Hole, he has to walk in. That's his only item. I, yeah, I don't agree with this. I mean, why? The recipe for Guardian Griefs is quite expensive. It's pretty uh, much a Blink Dagger, or your uh, at least one component of the BKB with a little bit more. Yeah, exactly. And like we said, I mean, now he has five empty slots. It's not like he needed the slots for other items. Oh, this is I, I don't know, I, I can understand if you want to try the new item, but... <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, <laughs> this is not the best moment to be trying items. No, not if you if you lose this one, hey, hey, just to win one match and they are guaranteed through. Yeah. I think hey, hey is more than content with seeing him using Guardian Graves. They go back mm -hmm. for Rush again and how do we yeah, So they do pick up a roll, after all. I'm but not sure if Arise managed to get his power sheds back. Yeah, they use Scorpion. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, so he, he only lost 700 gold in again, managing to sell them back. Uh, so we're going to see HWA going for the Shiva's guard here. Uh, I like this choice. Um, all the baby now. Oh, no, he can't go in there now. All the people are gone. Oh, yeah. Just keep on fighting. Michael, can he get off the black hole here? He will. He gets it up on one. <laughs> but he's even. If, it was only he is. Yeah. And he okay. even got disrupted, so... But at oh, least they, they get two. They well, might get... Uh, beat the machine was a little bit too early on his... Uh, his ultimate there. But yeah, yeah. they won't be able to get this one. It's gonna be three down. Oh, they're actually gonna lose the gem here. Pretty big deal. Oh, Nico baby, very low HP. Is he gonna go down? Oh, uh, they can see him. Okay, well that was definitely a very good fight for... I don't know. Three for nothing. That's a, almost a 5k gold swing. Lucky experience going their way. <laughs> but isn't enough, is the question. Well, I, I do want to say, I don't think the rubber band effect has been. Again, so, but yeah, the problem I think is, even if the longer it now goes, because there's a lot of farm on Hey Hey, they're not really starved out, and I don't think they are too afraid right now to prolong it for another 10 minutes. So what does Shadow Fint essentially have? He has 4k, so his next item should be coming up. But what do you think he should be building now? Like, yeah, damage, it's... But still dies way too fast. Like, Scary or...? It's a tough call. They... They need damage, but then, yeah, he also needs survivability. Uh, butterfly... I mean, there's not really that much physical hits coming in. It's pretty much only the Spirit Breaker. Uh, tough call with... Yeah, I think Scott, Scott is probably the, the safest choice. It gives you a little bit of everything. Can't really go wrong with the Scotty. Did get a nerf though, but pretty minimal. I think. You just keep on sieging his bots. They already got the tower, so. And now with the Shivas on HWA. They can just go. That's even more spam, more control. Just look at it, they keep on going for. For mind control with at least one hero, while well, the others go for our rise. The Coon will die for this though. Oh yeah, he will die. But look at all the decisions all over the place right now. Mind control is still gonna fall though. But yeah. it just makes sure that they can't get off a decent black hole or even a black hole. But then you lose. Uh, the black hole was still on cooldown there. So. Yeah, he couldn't get it off Coon, just run at him. Now this is a little bit too long because there is gonna be a Requiem loading up. Quepe is getting a lot of damage, he's gonna die. They're gonna. HWA, you need to blink. Oh, he's not in trouble yet. He is, he's just, he's gonna give away his life for this. He just says, guys, come for me. Oh no. But, oh no, HWA, he just, oh my god, what the fuck? He vacuums Nico Baby into the illusory wall and now. I thought he was just gonna die there, like, if they just jumped him instantly, he would have just died. Instead of he's letting him. He's very tanky though. 
Still, if, you have, if yeah. you have three to four heroes hitting on him one time, he's pretty much already dead. If he really wants this Rex, but mm, no way they actually get it. Well, the beat the machine, he had six rare time, so he he's dead anyway. Him. Might as well get some damage in. Yeah, there. why not? He actually well. forced out the glyph. I think that was a mistake. Uh, That's a misplay. Yeah, Let's see, he is Stoneman. He is close, but oh, Burge is there. They want to oh, get a Burge arrow. Or yeah. A vacuum, Graves, Nico he baby. He's gonna die. Nico blinks. <laughs> what? He blinked into the charge. That and was that terrible. Was, oh, no. And Rice is gonna waste his, uh, his agony. Oh, he has the Aegis. Yeah. Aegis he has okay. BKB in two seconds. No, he's gonna, gonna get, get out here. Yeah, he's gonna use it now. But like, Nico will just run away from this. Oh, HWI, he's still there. No, he had the blink. Why oh, didn't he blink? He wants to blink, but he can't get it off just Kuhn. Goes in okay. another charge, keeping them away. And <laughs> now he will just start running and also pop his own BKB. I think they will try to turn this one around and they will look at that! Maybe has no BKB. No, a Viper was already down, down, down again. <laughs> but no black hole, he just comes back to life and dies. He here are just off playing him in these fights. Every time it, it looks good for basically an all and then another hero comes in and suddenly. Yeah, this is just. Hey, hey, it's just showing. They're aggression. <laughs> they they're relentless. They they have no fear. They just keep on running at you. That's the big problem. Like there's no yeah. doubt in their mind. They want to go for the kills. I think for now with 14 bloodstone charges. I think now with the uh, bloodstone Shivas, uh, he's gonna go for the upgraded boots to travel. Yeah, why not? But right now he has enough enough mana, enough presence in the fights. Yeah, it's not like yeah. Later on, this of course it's good to get sight after that, but at the moment he doesn't really need it. And Octrine Core. What the hell? Yeah, okay, the, okay, the cooldown reduction is cool, but apart from that, that item is pretty worthless. There are better items. On mix, I mean. Hmm. Get a Lotus Orb or something then? Yeah, it's. I wouldn't. I don't think this is the game for Lotus uh, for Octane Core on mix. <laughs> I don't think there's. There are many games for. I don't think. Yeah, on mix. I mean, maybe you could make the argument. Let's say they have like a, a Storm, a Queen of Pain, and a Walker. Like you want to be mad and burning a lot. And reduce the cooldown a little bit. But this game. No. <laughs> this is not that game. I mean, I would have liked to see him just pick up uh, your brawling items. Yeah, it could have been the the Lotus Orb, maybe just the Four Staff or Blink Dagger. A like Euros even. Uh, even Dagon would be been fine. Oh, two two mana pill. That was sentry. Oh. They were ready for that. And now they're just trying to force on the. <laughs> My control is gonna get focused now first again. Yeah, again, he's just not gonna get anything. Evil is up in the air, but he has 730 HP, so he's just gonna die to this Shivas. It's already two for one, it's just Quepe. Uh, there you see the, the Octreme orb not coming into play. Yeah, if, if he went for some other item, he could have definitely lived. It's also very overkill on the mana. He has about 2000 mana at that point, he's never gonna spend it. He can just keep on ganking, but yeah, where is he gonna gank? Into the base? It's not realistic. Oh, yeah, H W is just laying down the marches, creating yeah. the zoning effect so they can't even defend the tower. As it should be. This is just this is just classic thinker things that he has to do. Yep. As a thinker player, you sometimes are like, uh, it's boring to do it, but it's so important. And I have to say, his heroes are actually terrible at bringing down buildings, but when you have this level of control. You, Even you if they're terrible at it, how are you gonna get to them? Yeah. And even if you get to them, how are you gonna kill them? It's yeah, I mean, normally, normally you see like one or two heroes hitting the towers, the rest are standing behind them. But in this case, they just all run at the tower and hit it together. Yeah. Yeah, until the creeps are gone, then you just leave the machine there. Like, what you gonna do for him? You can't kill him. There you go. He just uses burn time. Oh, he gets thrown into the air. That's actually pretty good. Yes. Yeah. No, he won't heal too much. And now they go on Nico Baby with the group. And oh, there's another BKB uses. Just yeah. to get him, like. Okay, just to kill the Avalon, it's. Uh... It is that the BKBs are already at 5 seconds, but. And the Rise actually picked up a Davis. Okay, so that was the other extreme. It's either vulnerability or damage. Uh, I can see the reasoning behind it. I mean, if they. They manage to lock someone down, they need to bring them down fast. They pretty much, they can't rely on the black hole. Mind control always gets focused down first in these fights. So they kind of need to rely on the slaughter stun. I think that's, and, I think part yeah. of the problem for mind control is, is that he went. Yeah, I mean, it's not like he would have had the BKB now, but he would at least be quite close to it. And or he would right have had now. the blink, and I think even the blink would have helped him out more. 
Yeah, with Link he could have at least stayed back a little bit. And now, and that said, he's also a little bit out of position all the time because yeah, he has to walk with them, and that's the problem. Like, not even close. They're putting down the center. Entry gaming here. <laughs> Emil, okay, Assault Curse is about 1200 gold away on Slarder. And um, I thought Vice picked up on the Dark Sun, that's a pretty big deal. If you thought they had control, think again. <laughs> Yeah, I want to say, just just get a get a blink now, you know. He, yeah. he didn't really need it before, but if we can get that one now, that would be amazing. Oh, Nico, yeah, he just blinked in forward really aggressively. He might be punished for no, this. Not a second place. Best disruption comes out, but he's still in the four. Yeah, his pop is BKB just to run out now. That means that he doesn't have his BKB for the next five. Oh, Pepe, he just want to get hit by that arrow. <laughs> what an annoying player. <laughs> oh. Well, you can only do that when you have like a team behind you that will shield you again. <laughs> okay. Looks like we're gonna see HW. Yeah, oh, Microdol, the... he has a glimmer cape, but what the hell? He can't get to the back lines. <laughs> he's just, just standing in front, tanking it up to that damage reduction. Oh, he's just sitting there like. Eh. He can out anytime. And he borrows it. <laughs> this is so oblique. It has no cooldown actually. It's kind of. You wonder about That's your true. interactions there, you know, if he goes underground, will something ghost frame will be disjoint and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we'll see anything funky with it because he's just shift queuing it all the time. Oh, okay, Nico baby, he goes in, he has his BKB, he hits a couple, but Vacuum is still gonna be- Oh, Vacuum Ball is gonna be there. And, and actually not able to get my controls at the moment. Oh, he, they do hit him again, so no black hole so far. They're actually good fight so far for basically, you know, getting two, but... Yeah, they're actually, they already lost their range racks, so... Yeah, and now the BKB's in town. Yeah. It was a good fight for them, though. Yeah, they do hold for now, but it's still not looking good. Creeps are coming in from bottom lane. q 4 is actually almost going down, just from the creeps. Rush is now also up, so if AA wants to stop being so relentless on top, they might be able to, you know, just go for that one. Yeah. Play it safe. Although, uh, I'm doubting it since it is, of course, hey, hey. Yeah, HW did skip the uh, upgrade DLTs. I guess since they're always pushing, there's always a creep wave nearby to TP2. And I, the side also does just so much work for him and get it. Yeah, the the upgrade DLTs are, are more for games where I guess it's more about ganking and not so much about just face rushing the enemy base. Yeah. Which of course I can do ganking, but yeah, where are they going to gank now again? Like, hey, okay. I mean. Basically, well, they haven't left their base for what the last five minutes. They just can't go anywhere. Maybe even longer. Like, where are they gonna go? What, the moment you walk out, you're gonna have at least one charge on you. Everybody will start running to you because that's just how they do it. They will just run at you at any time. You get them. and what? On top. Okay. Uh, let's do this during the amplified and damage. Oh uh, yeah, and. I mean, they already have a side of ice on the darks here. And uh, again, like the way these fights have been playing out, it's not really about the uh, initiation bursting someone down because both teams have pretty good defensive skills. Or he just wants it's to be annoying and throw out these illusions all the time. Yeah, exactly. They were they were lacking some kind of building damage. And the illusions actually, they, they're pretty decent. Stinker has quite a bit of intelligence from the Shiva's guard, so. It does help. They're, they're not great, of course, but right. the fact that you can spam them out. All the time is. It is something, I guess. I'm not sure why they're going mid instead of finishing off the melee barracks, but. I think they're just gonna let the creeps do that while they are putting their attention here. And when somebody else yeah. up, they will just put in more pressure again. Yeah, I guess it's just the pushing. Just them being annoying. Yeah, and they're letting the Abaddon hit because they know that. Basically, yeah. don't want to initiate on an Abaddon. You can't really initiate on it. See the Agony Scepter now picked up for him, so... Yeah, once once it pops, I think they will just charge in regardless of what's happening. Like yeah, not, on, not only is Abdom not taking any damage, but his entire team is taking 35% less. And how do you kill them at that point? I mean, Arise has picked up a Butterfly, so Butterfly Daedalus, it is a lot of damage. Uh, but, but oh no! He is, he's a little bit overconfident, he's just gonna get the right click down. That is a yeah, first and, and that's damage. where the, the yeah. butterfly is. that's where it comes in. 
Yeah, but then now what? You're still stuck in your base. Stop is being pushed out. What is being pushed out? It's and it's not enough to bring them back, of course. But it, those are the kind of kills they need. They're Every time smoke. they get a pick off like that, he is slow down. They need to wait for the dark here right now. They can't do much. Yeah, they're actually and smoking. Uh, I think they're gonna just get a fast rush yeah. with the two cores here. Yeah, this is gonna take them about ten seconds. So go hard, so fast. But yeah, I think the, this is the play that you need to make. Yeah, the rush is already down. For it. It's not even done. Okay. I want to say there's one problem now. Shadow Fiend has to walk to base. That's yeah, if, that's true. If they knew this, they could have maybe potentially called him out there. Uh, but they can't really fight without uh, without the uh, dark zero. He's their second highest net worth after all. I do want to say one thing. Look at the net worth for Mirana. Holy. Wow, that that's not a fun Mirana game. That's for sure. <laughs> well, that said, if you're an Enigma and your Shadow Demon is above you, that's also a problem. Okay, disruption is there on the good, but he just pops his BKB. And <laughs> one oh. crit. Okay, well that kills him up. An instant, but he instantly uses his ultimate for time. But he just wants to buy time for a steam to escape. Yeah, I, I mean, what are he doing? They're, they are ahead, but not that far ahead to be walking around alone inside the enemy jungle. Yeah, these these are some questionable. Things. And now okay. Cube gets caught. Yeah, he's amplified damage. It's like this is where the Octree core doesn't do anything for you, like. If he had something else, it could have helped him, even a BKB take or whatever. Like, this doesn't do anything for him. I think now the item choices of Hey Hey are maybe hurting them a little. Yeah, all that feeling, and the only thing they got out of it was a tier 4 tower. All they need to do is B5. Their, their lineup doesn't work if they're not 5 people together. And we see a Shadow Blade picked up in uh, my control. Yeah, he built the. Uh, he had it actually for some time now. He first built the glimmer cape, and then he went for that. Yeah, then then the shell. Oh, we see. T we have seen two glimmer capes this matches. Still question. Yeah, I get it if you can get it maybe as a cloak, and that you, if you then want to build still build a shadow blade, and it's fine, I guess. It's such a weird hype. There's not, nothing really big coming. And this bill. Actually, getting closer to 10k net worth right now for basically unknown. But they're actually ahead on. Yeah, that's the problem. And the bone graph is slowly uh, coming back into their favor. They can go outside the base a little bit now. So yeah, I mean, here are still ahead. They just need to you know, relax and Take it easy. regroup and actually do what the lineup is supposed to do. Yeah, like force these TPs back now. Yeah. I just been seeing what the next item pickup will be for HWA. I think we could see an E blade from him. Uh, I don't know, pretty much only in physical damage at this point. So, E blading allies as they get focused is gonna be a really nice way of keeping them alive. Yeah, or even if you can do it offensively. Oh no, be the machine. He's got out again. He's gonna get the load sword onto him, but uh, just one hit and he's already healed back up. Someone else uh, has got out here. HWA. HWA. He is able to. At least use the month oh, now. The charge oh, oh, also the vacuum and the wall are in perfect place. Oh, Nico is still able to get HWA. They don't seem to be having any gems on the side of Hehe. And Quepe is just going to get focused now. Again, low top on him, but it doesn't really matter. Arise is getting disrupted. Arrow is there, but it's not Arise, so it doesn't really matter. Now the Kuhn is called out. And boss. <laughs> and Arise didn't even lose the Aegis in that fight. Actually, pretty big. Oh, wow. And hey, he's just slowly giving this one away now. Yeah, it's definitely not what they. I, I think they just got overconfident there. Uh, I mean, what they what they were doing earlier on the top lane, uh, sitting together, just sieging the the melee racks like that, or or the tier three mid, that was fine. But now, couple pickoffs here and there, the lays are pushing. Every time they need to wait for some of the respawn before they can go again, and suddenly, I don't actually catch up. Quite a bit in form. Yeah, now this is gonna be tough because what net worth from the top of the charge is actually dead of him. And what we were talking about, it, it might take he he like two minutes of sieging to take the tier three, but if uh, basically no game opening with the AC with the right clicks from Shadow Fiend, they can take 
Rackstar was very, very fast. If they actually get to the base, into a base, was it a base scenario? Yeah, he needs to take their. run back to their own base 8. Not able even with 5, I think they. are already pretty much out split pushed by basically down just by their. Eco boy, baby. Rise. Hello. Yeah. Two of them do so much fish. I mean, the, the one thing you have going for them is the Abaddon's passive. It gives attack speed uh, to everyone hitting the same building. So it's a nice little boost, but he hasn't even actually maxed it. He's level 16, but it's only level 3 on Curse of the Avernus. So that's strange there, because they really need that. Yeah, oh, and also something uh, for the for the Twitch chat. Like, uh, I'm sorry, we only have a source quality. I already put it down a little bit to just be 720p. Because we don't have a partnership with Twitch yet, so just give us more views and then it will come to us and we'll get a partnership. <laughs> so, okay, that was just really bad for for the chat because some people are saying, like, only source. Uh -huh, it's, not yeah. even, it's not even that high on the source list. Okay, Rice is back. Ah, you can never be. I mean, if you put it too low, then people are gonna complain, like, why is the quality so yeah. bad? I mean, you can't please everyone. So, yeah, that's why I find, like, the middle road, I use 720 on the Twitch. As long as I'm not partnered, I have to. Most people should be able to watch it. Yeah, I, you know, having those options to change quality is always better. When go when ready. Okay. When ready. <laughs> I'm not well, going to reschedule the this. <laughs> <laughs> no way. The game definitely got a bit more interesting. I have to say. Uh, I mean, I was looking to be a, almost a stomp for he, uh, but now, yeah. It looks quite even at this point. I think they, they made just a few weird choices. Some yeah, item I mean, choices are also... From both sides, yeah, definitely. But I think the biggest thing is the Octarian Orb. I, uh, it's just really... It doesn't offer anything. Or it offers something, but it's not what they need. 6k gold, and that could have been something, you know, actually impactful. Even if he got a flats with it, it would have already been better. Yeah, I mean, th I, there's I a ton of stuff. I don't even get why they don't get a flats. Like it's so amazing on the line of fun. four melee cores, one range. It's perfect. Yeah. And Nias is gonna get caught out as well. Put him into the air I and now just yeah. oh, piggy. Kill that. Your evil will just take the kill then. Yeah, I'm really interested to see what the uh, HWA goes for here. And again, I think the another reason why the E blade will be a good choice is because he's using the illusions to push a lot and. But the extra stats from the blade will help with that as well. But yeah, that's, just, that's just a little bit more dex speed, yeah. so... Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's also something. Tenet, so, yeah. I think that actually if you use it, then you see there's just one defending, you might actually be able to just throw the E-Blade onto, the, onto that person, blink out again yourself, and then you can you let your illusion do a little bit more work. Yeah, but, but I, I think... It's a little bit dangerous. The biggest reason, again, is because... Sure you can go for a set of ice, but uh, you know, a rise in Nico Baby, they're just killing people in a couple seconds, uh, even though their BKBs are so short. Uh, five seconds is more than enough to bring down someone from full HP. So the e will actually be useful even if they're in BKB form. Just e your ally and save them. Yeah, and this. I thought it would be. Yeah. But do you, yeah. I, I somehow I do wonder if like if instead of the Shivas or the Manta, maybe if he picked up a what is it the the side of Fies a little bit faster and then built into a uh, what is it into an E blade after that. I do wonder if that would have been better. That's just talking yeah, about I mean, later. Yeah, the side of Ice is definitely. It looks like that is actually what he's going for right now. Pick up the void stone. Yeah, it, it is going to be the X. So it's, it's definitely a, not a bad item, especially on Tinker who can just spam it all day, but I feel like the way these fights go, uh, he is off, there's a lot of emphasis on killing him. And I'm not sure How much when they run at him with their BKBs, yeah, uh, what is the next gonna be? You just need to make sure that he's like positioned just really far behind them. Oh, oh they're going on. Now the X is definitely useful. Yeah, now he's if just gonna die. He's not gonna off. get anything off. He's just dead. That's gonna be the guard increase. That's too late. Reckon of Souls loaded up, but it it buffs them buyback. up. Yeah. My control is 
Buffet is still there. <laughs> yeah, he's fighting with the microphone indeed. But there's going to be the wall. Nico Fuck him there, there as well. Yeah, Nico play. He can't focus anybody. They're too, uh, too tanky right yeah. now. HWO, he goes for him. He's just going to make sure that he keeps on being a piggy for now. And oh no. I don't want to HWO actually. Yeah, that's good. But he's in him down, but still the impale is there. They use shield on him now. And finally, Arises is trying, is ready to fight again. Satanic. He actually spent his Dino Gold for the Satanic. Oh no. Yeah, he's healing up a little bit with it now, but it doesn't matter because they're already losing their entire base. I'm losing control yeah, of the team fight. Yeah, this is He goes fighting yeah, there. Now he goes down right. without fight Yeah. And Arise yeah, rockets are coming and he's going back. And that's 840 gold towards Tinker. Just as I was criticizing the Psycho Vice and Tinker, it just wins in the game as soon as he picks it up. <laughs> it's just a switch for an item, I like it. Yeah, I mean, as soon as they grouped up, they were five, they stopped getting picked off all the time, and they see the deal. Yeah, but that was actually this match already. The next one <laughs> was scheduled to start now, but I know that Hey Hey has to play a different tournament right now versus Dusa, and then have that match up here again afterwards. But I'm not completely sure how things are going to end up right now, but we will just wait till the match is done, and then we'll come back to you with that. And yeah, Slash, you got anything uh, left to say? Shoutouts? No, uh, well, no, no shoutouts. I mean, both teams played well. Uh, I was actually expecting basically no to win. Uh, but yeah, he, he's, despite some questionable item choices and <laughs> questionable decision making, they their draft does come together quite well and they take the game, yeah. Yeah, well guys, then we'll now go into a break and yeah, we'll see you guys then.